All right, so today we're going to do another piece of mosaic art on uh, Microsoft Paint, but we're going to do reflection this time, and the shape that we're going to use is an equilateral triangle rather than a hexagon. I would not recommend you use the triangles provided in Paint because it's not equilateral. I would rather you go to Google Images and find one that way. Okay, so I'm in, I was originally here, in um, here in Google Images okay and yeah, I just click on this one right click copy go to paint paste it's too big I'm gonna have to resize it so click on resize and you want to make sure you do the percentage, make sure the maintain aspect ratio is selected. Again, resize it to 25%. That's a good size. Now we have an equilateral triangle to work with. I'm going to color it black. Now I'm going to do freeform selection. Make sure transparent selection is clicked on. Now I'm going to cut away any edge you like. Pick the left or the right edge. I'm going to try to see if I can do a fire pattern or a wave pattern. Now, to get it to click on, on any of these sides, right now it's not working, I'm going to have to reflect it downward. So select the rectangular box. And make sure the box is extra long. See what happens is this. When you reflect it down, and if you make your box too short, it will reflect outside of your box and disappear on you. So make sure the box is extra long. And then you just click on rotate, and you're going to do flip vertical. There, now it's going to work for you. So I'm going to make sure I line up the same way. You know as how there's only a little edge left here and a lot more down here? Well, when you reflect it, it's backwards. That means up here I will have to leave more room, down here less room, less leftover edge. So let's see, it looks kind of okay. There we go. And that's all I can do because a triangle only has three edges. There's no other edge to reflect. So I've got my piece done. Now I just select and make a copy of this. and color it something different. I'm going to make it Guahomi colors. And again, if you try to connect the pieces, it won't work because this is a reflection. So you're going to have to reflect this piece vertically. So put a box around it and make the box go extra long. And click on flip vertical. Now it's going to fit. Okay, do another piece like that. Um, change it to purple. And I'm going to put a box around it, make it extra long, and then flip it vertical. All right, so have fun with it. Play around, make a bunch of funky. Uh, mosaic art. Make sure you save the file as a .jpeg, like so. Save as. Right here, JPEG. Type your name. And then put reflection. And then save it. Then email it to me. Make sure you attach the file. And you will get five points for this. That's it. Thanks for watching.